Howdy everyone and welcome to another video with me. I'm Nick and this is London Creative and it's painting time once again. I've got my hat on. Probably should change first before I start doing this but I just wanted to tell you sort of the reason and the idea behind today's pour and see how we go. When I started I wanted to do the flow art and do the Dutch pours and whatever but I also kind of wanted to do more abstracts and trying to create images and go back to my roots which is modern art and so forth. So I wanted to create some structure and stuff rather than just see where the paint falls by blowing a hairdryer over it. I wanted to use it to create images. And I tried this a couple of times, both occasions didn't make it onto videos because the results were, well, that. The idea was, and looking at it, you can sort of see, it's a, a landscape, basically. It's sea, mountain, it was originally meant to be skyline and sun, but, and clouds. But it, it, the idea is there. It just needs more. So I'm still working on this, still doing this. I think these need to be big. But as you can see, I don't exactly have the setup to do a big painting. Uh, that was a bit of a mission furniture that had to be rearranged in order for it to dry. But today I'm going to work on another one and see how we go. I'm aiming for, where is it, using these things, palette knives. Idea is to put some paint on and try and use it to scrape and direct the paint and whatever. We'll see how we go. Only one way to find out if this works. Let's try it. Okay, now, first off, I'm going to paint a horizon across here, blow it up that way, make some sort of landscape. I've tried this before, kind of worked. I've got an idea that I need to do more construction once it's in there. Fairly decent amount of blue. That could be I'm going to blow it that way and try and create some sort of skyline. I've got cells. I've got cells. Okay, so the loop gives me cells. burnt umber and then leave a gap. Well, well I keep saying burnt umber, it's raw umber. Yeah, I might take the lid off. But, do more blues because we're going to sell it actually. So, I'll we'll give a shimmer in the middle. Okay. And because we've got silver and water, Oh, water. Flow art meets Bob Ross. <laughs> Palette knife. I'm going to add in, in true Bob Ross fashion, I'm going to paint right over the top of what, what's good. This time, I'm going with a palette knife. I'm going to.
Bob, have shirt Bob Ross. I met someone the other day, didn't know who Bob Ross was. <laughs> Gnarly tree kind of looks like something out of Oz. Oh, yes, it works. That's cool. Is that a waterfall? If that's a waterfall, should that fall flow downward? There, should that go? You just destroyed the alien child. There was an alien child there. I have a face. There's a granny face. There's an evil spirit. That's what I was missing. Well, there we go. Bob Ross does flow up. I don't really know how to turn it, but it is what it is. It is very, very sci fi. It looks like a sort of weird alien planet. It's quite cool. It works quite well, this. Um, so, hence, you're actually seeing it rather than. These things we're probably going to get painted over soon enough. That's one of the beauties of thin flour. You just keep painting over it in little layers and layers of paint. But I think that works quite well. What do you think? Is it worth a try? Do you see where I'm going? Palette knife and give it some more direction. It's not a, a clear painting. It's not. It's not that thing. Where are we? That thing there. That's a Bob Ross inspired exact copy sort of thing. And but. It's abstract, it's different. I quite like it, I'm quite pleased with it. Torn whether I should keep it or put it up on Etsy because all of these paintings are available on Etsy. I've lost my train of thought. Yes, painting me here, Etsy. If you liked this video and you thought it was good and you like me rambling on about stupid things and making weird flower paintings, then do click subscribe and come back each Sunday for something new in London and or being creative. That means it could be in London and being creative or it could be in London or it could be creative. Yeah, um, I'm getting distracted here. Right, <clears throat> subscribe, hit the subscribe button down there, click, yeah, that thing, yeah, go for it. Right, cool. While you're at it, leave comments, talk to me, tell me stuff. Comments are good. What's also good is thumbs up, I forgot to mention that, and hitting the share button. That little share button with the curly arrow said, go send it to someone. Send it to your mum, send it to your, I don't know, your boss, I don't know. That's it. I'm going to shut up now because I'm just talking to myself. I'm to, you know I'm talking to myself. I'll come back next week and it will be something different. And until then, I'm going to put this painting down before I do some damage. Bye. Harper Valentin, no, not Harper Valentin. London Creative Art, I forgot who I was then. You know, you write that, someone doesn't know what it says, proves them to be an idiot, because they can't read it. Uh, probably write in English for 90% of the English population that wouldn't read it, you have to write as one word. You need it. Maybe I should make that as a t-shirt. You need it. You'll get more of me rambling like this every week. Um, you won't be doing that because you'll be at home because no one's allowed to go to work. Um, I'm really rambling. I have a finger. <laughs>